So let's take a minute and review what we've learned today from building an analytics pipeline on AWS. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. And in the world of games, analytics is a key element to providing better design, a better experience, more engaged users, and more data that goes back to the better design. We call this the flywheel effect, and it's definitely a key point for game revenue growth. So why analytics? This allows you to identify different trends, things that are going on within your game that may actually allow you to make changes in your game, such as where are there more deaths, or where are people playing, where are the center spots, what are the areas in your game that otherwise are not being used in a way that could benefit your game players. Analytics can provide insight. They can show you some of the closest points of the game that if you were to just make some of the smaller adjustments can have a larger impact for replay. In the end, by having insight of analytics, you can actually update your game design, which then provides a better play for your players. This means they'll get more engaged, and the interest of more engaged players only provides for increased revenues and growth of your community. And part of implementing this is really comes down to the architecture, and it's actually pretty simple. You can use from the data generation, which is your game clients or servers sending telemetry data into the system, and then being able to ingest it and sanitize it to make sure that it matches a particular set of rules and then batching it so that it goes into different events and saves them in buckets for processing, which then the processing point actually pushes the event over to the servers and tells it to do something with the data. Once that's actually done, we actually have another application trigger that occurs and allows it to begin going into the data warehousing, where it kind of removes the duplicate entries and stores some of the telemetry data in another database. From there, you get the data visualization that allows you to get the insight that you're actually looking for, and this is where you'll be able to make your decisions. So what we've learned today is that analytics within games is very important. It allows you to take advantage of better choices, better decisions, different things that you can do to actually change your game in the smaller ways that your users may not be telling you, but are more important for a better game experience.